welcome back to the channel. Tush coming at you. It is the middle of October, somewhere around the 17th, and we are out for a drive in the country. And we're in something a little bit different. We're in the 81 Alfa Romeo Spider, and we're actually on our way up to storage. Uh, this car is back for some winter work and some winter projects, and uh, we're just gonna go up and put it in storage for a little bit and bring the TR250 home that also has some projects due to be done on this uh, winter time as well. So um, we're gonna work on the 250 first before we come back to working on the TR8. We'll talk a little bit more about the uh, planned winter projects, not only for the Alpha and for the TR250, but for some of the other projects in the fleet. All right, we'll be back. All right, always nice to get the uh, 250 out of storage, even if it is for the last run of the year. Certainly sounds good. So she's a little dirty, but it's looking good. Looking forward to my drive home. I said it'll probably be the last drive of the season. Anyway, let's get her home. We'll get her wiped down a little bit and we'll get her put under cover at home and we'll talk about that uh, winter work list. All right, we are back safe and sound in the garage after taking the long way home, let's say. Put a few extra miles on it. So let's talk about the list. All right, let's take a look at the aforementioned winter list and these are in no particular order. I do have the Alfa Romeo listed as number one, but in, al in actuality, it won't be coming back to the garage probably until March at the earliest, uh, since we're going to be working on the TR250, I think, primarily over the winter time, as well as the 59 TR3, but we'll get to that. So Doc has got me to do, or wants me to do a few more projects over the winter on the Alfa. Uh, he's purchased a wind blocker for me to install. We're having a little bit of an issue with the uh, aftermarket performance exhaust that was installed last year. It's got a little bit of exhaust fumes coming in from the rear of the car back into the uh, passenger compartment. And we're thinking it's because of the straight out pipe. So we're thinking of putting either a down pipe on it or reverting back to the stock uh, rear exhaust section, which already has a down pipe installed on it. So we'll investigate that a little bit more. Uh, Doc has got the original stereo that came in this car, the old Blaupunkt. He's got that rebuilt, so I want to have that uh, reinstalled in the car. He's also got a few paint projects for me, not necessarily paint projects on the car, but he's got a cooler for me, an old Coleman cooler, a toolbox, and a couple of uh, coffee mugs to paint in the color of the car. So that'll be a fun project. Uh, he's also working on possibly getting uh, a bumper uh, made for him, a stainless steel bumper. Uh, I've seen pictures of the rear bumper in process so uh, possibly changing out the bumpers we'll see how the prototypes come from the manufacturer as far as the bumpers are concerned there's probably a few other projects i'm missing but those are the main projects on the 81 alfa romeo spider all right we brought the uh, 68 tr250 home as we want to do some work on it over the winter time and this will probably be the first car i play with when i get the time so i would uh, mentioned last year uh, or previously that uh this car used to run with triple Webers, and I ended up taking them off uh, primarily because I was having some if difficulties tuning them, and I wanted to get the car up and running and tested prior to me taking it to the trials a couple of years ago now. So we put the Zena Strombergs back on. I'm ready now to go back to the Webers. I've got a brand new manifold to install. I've got a uh, Ratco throttle cable that I've had probably in my toolbox or in my parts hoard for the last 10 years or so. We're going to install that in conjunction with the triple Webers. And I have a new Canon manifold, uh, as opposed to the um, Webers came to me on this car with single manifolds. And I, I, they might have even been homemade manifolds, but they weren't the best. It's a little bit more difficult to tune the carbs, plus the throttle linkage tends to bind a little bit more on the independent uh, manifolds versus the single manifold. So we do have the new Canon manifold to install. So that should make a big difference on the triple Weber installation as far as I'm getting them fit up. And with the uh, new Rato, uh, Ratco cable, we should get them uh, working a little bit easier than they were previously. I'm sure we'll still have to do some tuning on them, but that's the primarily job I want to do on the TR250 this winter. Uh, there is an issue with the transmission. I probably mentioned this to you. You might not remember, but uh, it does have an issue with the transmission popping out of second gear on deceleration. So transmission has to come out, unfortunately. That's the first problem with the transmission. 
The second problem with the transmission is that the solenoid, I believe, is sticking. We did do a bench test on this transmission before we put it in, but it was, of course, without a load on it. Now that we've had it loaded, it is popping out of second gear on D cells, so that's something we definitely need to fix. I believe the solenoid issue is probably just a tired solenoid. I know um, when we looked at this uh, transmission and bench tested it originally, we played around with the solenoid a little bit and rewired it, but it's possible that it's just uh, tired and worn out, so we'll get a replacement for that uh, A-type solenoid. So those are the projects. Oh, there's a few other things I want to do. Uh, we're probably getting to the at least 500 miles on this car. Um, so we're going to be doing a head retorque. So we'll definitely do that. I'll probably do that once we take the uh, manifold off. We'll probably torque the head at the same time. We'll do some plug checks and et cetera along the way and just some random maintenance. We'll probably obviously change the oil. It still has, I believe I've changed the oil once. We'll probably change the oil again and put some fresh 2050 in there along with a new filter. So those are the winter jobs on the TR250. All right, next project may not take place in this garage, but it will take place over at a Lynn's shop, most likely. So a 62 TR4, obviously that's the car that we'd finished and brought to the trials this year. And uh, of course, we found a few issues with the car uh, driving it well over a thousand miles. I think a Lynn's probably managed to put about 1300 miles on that car since we finished the project. And we've decided, I think, that we're going to go ahead and rebuild the engine. We didn't rebuild the engine when we did the uh, restoration or restoration on the car knowing that it probably needed to be done the previous owner had mentioned that the engine was probably tired and needed to be rebuilt but we thought we would run it for a little bit and make the decision later anyway it got us to and back from the trials but it is getting a little bit tired it is burning a lot of oil it is dropping a cylinder now and again so it is something that we need to be that needs to be done we also noticed that the throwout bearing or at least we think the throwout bearing is making a little bit of noise within the transmission so when we pull the engine out to rebuild it we'll probably do the throwout bearing at the same time we'll pull pull the trans and engine together I find it easier that way anyway so we'll do a replacement on the throwout bearing we hope it's a throwout bearing we have a little bit of noise on cold startup and it's not acting like a throwout bearing but we're going to check it and uh, we'll go from there once we get the engine and trans out I've got wipers down there uh, Alain had mentioned that the wipers only moved a very small um a bit on the windscreen wipers when it was raining and I believe that's attributed to the motor not being solidly mounted in the engine bay so we're going to have a look at that and work on the wiper system for when that's needed in the future. All right project number four on the list is the 59 TR3A that we have sitting beside us here under cover and I'm not going to be doing probably too much body work on this car over the winter time, but I'm going to do some other projects that will be of interest to you, I'm sure. I do have a brand new uh, interior kit to install in the car at some point in time, but of course things need to be done like the dash needs to be recovered. That's part of the interior kit. So I want to do a dash recover and uh, I've got the material to do that. I also want to do all the cappings. So the TR3 has all the cappings that go around the car, the cockpit cappings. So I want to recover all of those. So that will probably take me some time to do the dash recover and the capping recover. I also have a new seat kit. So at some point I want to be able to do the seat. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably concentrate on doing some of the interior bits on this car over that over the cold winter. It's difficult to get out here and do any body work on the car when the body panels are so cold. Um, as far as applying Bondo, waiting for that to dry, etc. The car really needs to be up to a specific temperature to be able to do any body work and sanding on the car. I don't like to do it when it's extremely cold out here. So most of the body work will wait on this car till probably later in the spring, and we'll get into some priming and painting jobs as well. So those are the jobs I want to do primarily on the 59TR3. I've mentioned here body to frame mount. So I think where I left on, off on this project was the body is just sitting on the frame at the moment. It is not attached with any hardware. So I'd probably like to get the body actually mounted to the frame solidly to start working on some of the panel gaps at least. So we'll probably do that. I do have a body mounting kit, so we'll raise the body, put the shims under, put the pads under, etc., and we'll attach that body firmly down to the frame so we can start to work at least on the panel gaps and know what we're working with. So that's one of the other jobs that we want to do. Uh, and that's sort of in conjunction here with panel work. So body to frame mounting and panel work are sort of in conjunction. All right, number five on the list is the 70 TR6 PI. And it is waiting patiently at the side of the house for me to 
start working on it, uh, probably more patiently than I am. I'd like to actually start working on this right away, to be honest with you, but we really need to finish that 59 TR3 first before we move on to another project. So uh, you see there I've got parts purchase, and I have begun to purchase some parts for the car. One of the most recent purchases is the Nissan R200B differential sitting over here on my workbench. So we've got the VLSD R200, so viscous limited slip differential from uh, Nissan. I believe this is from a, I'm going to say Q45 sedan. So I can't exactly give you the gear ratio at the moment, but it's more suited to the PI cars, which had, I think, a 3.4 differential versus the North American cars that came with a 3.7. So it's more suited to the PI cars. One of the other items I have on here are parts rebuild and a slash UK. So these are parts specifically for the PI system that I need to be sent off and rebuilt uh, primarily by um, some small businesses in the UK. That's things like the uh, injection pump or the metering unit, things like the injectors, things like the manifold, for example, things like the linkages. Um, those have to be um, either rebuilt or purchased from the UK. So we're working on doing that and getting ready for when we start on the uh, PI project. Some of the items I'll have to wait, I have to decide, for example, on the metering unit, if I'm gonna be doing any upgrades to the car as far as a cam or, or uh, exhaust, for example. So I may wanna wait a little bit before setting th some things off to be rebuilt once I figure out what I wanna do as far as the rebuild is concerned on the car. And the last thing I have on the list, number six, is the 1960 Triumph TR3A. And if you recall, when we were working on that 62 Triumph TR4 project, we stole the wheels and tires off the 60 TR3A and put on a set of not so good tires and those black Mag Industries rims on the car, which look okay. We may keep the rims, but we definitely want to change out those tires. So that's probably going to be a spring project, uh, either a wheel and tire combination purchase or maybe just tires. We'll see if the clearances work okay on that 60 TR3. I believe it will because those rims actually came off the car, so they technically should go back on the car. We'll just actually see whether I like that look with those rims on that car and decide whether we want wheels and tires or just tires. So there is the list for the winter projects. Again, it's a pretty big list. A lot of it will be dependent on my work schedule, my real work schedule. Remember, restoring cars is only part-time for me, so these are a lot of projects to do over the winter time, and it's really going to be dependent on my work schedule and my travel schedule, and technically how the weather goes here. You know, we could have a rotten winter where it's difficult to be out in the garage, very cold, windy, or we could have a, a nice warm winter with very little amount of snow. We'll have to wait and see. It's supposed to be an El Nino year here, which usually means it's going to be a little warmer. But sometimes a little warmer is not the greatest thing because that brings more snow. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, we'll see you back out here when we start the project. We are going to be working on the TR250 first, but I do need to get some parts uh, ordered and on the way to me. I am going to be ordering a new linkage kit for the DCOEs, the triple DCOEs. I do have the cable kit, but I do need the linkage kit. So we're going to go to uh, the most upgraded one that we can get, which is a billet kit. Uh, I believe I have to order that from Australia. So we'll be better get that ordered because I'm sure it'll take some time to wing its way to me here in Canada. So once we get those parts, we can then start in earnest working on this car and doing the jobs that need to be done before we end up pulling the transmission out. I think I'd prefer to get the... Uh, the carbs on up and running before we actually pull the trans out so i think we're going to do it in that order so stay tuned guys thanks for watching thanks for commenting thanks for subscribing we'll see you on the next video whenever that is